Hi, it seems to be another day to build our new kernel. So I've this machine where I've Linux mainline and Linux mainline headers are a release candidates. That's what it says RC, that's what it stands for. And so there's a new one, version 19-1. You've maybe seen some articles online already about it, what's inside and all that. So the thing is, I want to show you two things. Let's build it. But also, why are these lines in here? So if you open a right mouse click file manager and go inside your file system, and then, well, let's do it again, like so, by name, and then like this. So it's alphabetically. Go inside etc, type macpacman.conf, till you are at the file, and take a look at this one. So I don't know if, if, if going to Perl will fix it as well. You'll see the lines that are actually counting, all the rest is just gibberish for him. So these are the lines that count. The white ones. Linux mainline is ignored. Pacman won't upgrade packages listed in ignore package and members of ignore group. So these guys are not or never going to be updated or up or changed anyway. So I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Say I'm gonna install it anyway. So let's get rid of that. If I'm gonna update now. He's going to say, hey, whoa, whoa, there he goes. He's already gone. We have a problem we have to solve, but I know what that is. That's typically something for me. But he says, oh yeah, I found something from AOR that needs to be updated to the latest version. So he just kicks off with this application, this uh, alias that we have. It's going to kick off and where is it? PKSYA. So no confirm. So it just goes on, right? Um, so the thing is, if I just run it again, let's take a look at the error. It wants to get keys in, PGP keys need importing, etc. And there are problems. And one of them is actually one of Linus Torvalds, which is uh, funny, of course, with all the news lately about him. So it's fine that he's back. I never had any doubt about it, but it's a good thing to step away from all this and then get back with a fresh head. The thing is, I have this, this importing key issue with GPG, I know, for a while now, and we have an, a solution. I've made a little script for it. Let's open it. You'll find it on any of my Arch Linux D GitHub. So here, there are the Arch Linux D GitHubs, all the scripts that are up here. And I have this little thing. Maybe I just run this thing to update everything. So this updates all the githubs as you see and all the keys are imported the latest version is coming from the net let him do his stuff just taking the first one doesn't matter really what i take but this thing is something i need to run to get past this key issue because my internet service provider is blocking me some some of my my ways my ports so i'm running this 10 add key service for key importing that's the thing I'm gonna run. It's coming from the github.com slash adclinicsd, any of the githubs. So doing that and that, stopping there and say, okay, try again. Importing keys, oh, we're gone. Let's have a look who it is. So we wanted to have Linus Torvalds key and Jan Alexander Stephens and Greg Groach Hartman. So the three keys are in and we're just waiting for everything to install. So that's how easy it was. If you know what the problem was and what you were doing, then it's solvable. Everything is solvable and um, we'll have to wait till now this thing does its, uh, this compilation is finished. It's going to take mm, around half an hour, 17, 12 is it now. So we're going to see in the video how long it takes, but um, Building a kernel is, is CPU and time, and it costs both time and CPU time, right. <laughs> okay, let's wait. There we are, I was doing other stuff and let me show me, show me you 
the task manager. So it's indeed very um, intensive for your CPU, but that's okay. You have now your new Linux mainline version 4.19-1. So let's get that installed. Now, I've made an article on linux.com saying, look, if you want to have Linux mainline, ah, he's upgrading the Linux mainline headers. You need also to upgrade the Linux mainline headers. So VirtualBox need, needs that one, but it also needs that one for it to work. And there's another file it needs as well, DKMS file, and then you're all set. But that's in another tutorial that's already covered. So this is happening right now. Where is everything? Maybe we could have a look as well. Control H in the dot cache. And yay, there is Linux mainline. So if, if ever something breaks off or you go home or you go to work or whatever, and you let your machine compile, then it's always here. So this is the one that's already installed now. Uh, wait, what I what am I saying? There are, let's do it like this. So that's uh, the old version I've created. So he, that's a left over, left over, left over. The, this one and that one have been installed. So that's basically what's in here. I don't know if you can see already that. Linux. Uh, state so that one is installed that one is installed right so the versions are correct now regarding to virtual box a virtual box should be installed but also the host DKMS so that's the file you need to have a working virtual box on a system with this brand brand new kernel i think it's very very brand new and this time i am gonna look i am curious how new this thing is kernel.org let's kill everything else close other tabs Oof. so this one is installed um, can we see the timing yeah here 22 and we say it's 23 so one day ago the main line was uh, launched here so the the dash one i suppose we can see the differences or something whoa not my cup of tea tarball and we're downloading i guess browse then so a lot of information here take a look all right so torvalds great he's back so there you go another video about um, changing, updating Linux mainline kernels and, and try them out. You see it on the posts on GitHub um, and uh, sorry, on, on Google Plus and Facebook, everywhere you see now that's the latest, newest kernel. So this is how you do it. All right. Cheers.